Hello everybody, how you guys doing today? Today's game is between the Columbus Aviators and the OKC Bisons. So, this is a game where the loser of this team will have a winning record for the first half of the season. So, let's see what happens. They got a... Each team has a win. Uh, I meant... Each team has been struggling. Good news is, the Aviators get Big Ben back this week. Or did we have him in a game last week? I don't know. But Big Ben it is playing. So, we get to see him play. And, looks like we're going to have a good... Looks like... Gordon's got the ground game. Hello, everyone. I'm Jonathan you know, This is Madden NFL Football. On I forgot what I was saying. Sports. All right. Up, we'll get a look at Melvin so, Gordon, fresh off a big game a week ago. Coming up, we'll see our visitors as they get set to square off against our home team. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over okay, to let's see. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis. All right, much appreciated, Coach, as we welcome all of you to our exclusive coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Columbus Aviators and the Oklahoma City Bison. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we look at this Oklahoma City team as they enter play here. They come in really scuffling, losers of seven of their last eight games. And they've been an underachieving team, but they do have some pretty good pieces in place. Let's see if they can use Dixon some of the other Sampson guys to return. To make better. Meanwhile, for the visiting Columbus Club, things haven't gone exactly according to plan to this point. But boy, you and I down there with them. All right. The only two wins, those two wins for Columbus were against Chicago. Both games. The to get a bit so we, we are ready to go here from OKC. And this one will be returned to the 24-yard line. So we'll see our starting, starting quarterback filling in for Dak Prescott and finally back from injury. Brett Hundley. In his stat line last week, so that's not going to get him to the Pro Bowl. Hundley right, no touchdowns, is staking no over but they won. right now so the for the moment for him is until Dak Prescott got hurt for the second victory. time this year. Led him to victory. He's doing all it's the been right quarterback things. after quarterback going down go. for Let OKC. So first down, play Hundley, here. play action. Down. Right side, dumps it off. He steps out of the 27. Now we see the offense for the Bisons. The completion good for three and it's second down. And this O line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Second down and seven for the Bisons. On their own 27 yard line. Goddard's in motion from left to right. It's handoff to Gordon, and he'll go go down for a loss on the play. And so let's see the Columbus D. They come into this one, rounding out the top ten in the ten spot against the run. Now if they could just get their pass defense in line, this unit would be really, really strong. And remember the conversation with the defensive coordinator? He wants him to rush the passer better. He wants to see the quarterback on the ground. They've got to create some sacks. And he said it starts early and often. We'll see if they're down at six for the Bisons at their old 28-yard line. Throwing Hunley. Hunley rolling left. Hunley has time. He goes down. A loss of seven. Brown on the sack. And it's going to be fourth down. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. On fourth down on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. This one's playing away. On three 
nine times in the win last week is his first one. And it, away. it's going to be received, and he'll go down to the 28. As a 53 yard punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. First down, let's see the starting quarterback for the Aviators, the Big Ben Roethlisberger. Becoming an elder statesman among quarterbacks in the league, drafted back in 04, it's Ben Roethlisberger. And you've got to think that they've got to be feeling pretty fresh. You know, coming off of the open week, didn't have to play, right? Gives them a chance to rest up a little bit, heal some of those aches and pains, and excited about playing again. First Before down for Columbus at their own 28 yard line. They come out and establish themselves here early. And Handing it off. Right where they want it in the middle of the Juke. schedule. He's gone. 40. Spins is around. Down at the 46 yard line. That's Saquon Barkley. First rush. 17 yards on the play. Ellie, first down. an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. First down for Columbus at their own 46. Hitting it off. And that'll get down to the 48. Two yard gain. Now let's see the defense for Columbus. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times. And they operate as a terrific unit. Second down and eight for the for the Aviators. I'm sorry, I said Columbus offense. It's Columbus defense. I meant Columbus offense. Yeah. So, Zach Cunningham with the sack, and it's third down. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop it. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes he's third down to 15. Now Big Ben looking over the middle. It's caught. Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey gets the first down at the OKC 43. First down, Columbus. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. A couple of first downs has the football position at the 43. First down for Columbus at the 43. Roethlisberger well, over the mid left side incomplete. Over the middle, but it's incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target, and it's second down. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. They now this is the defense for OKC. Toward the middle of the pack, number 14 in the NFL. So I'm prepping for this game. I kept asking myself the question, what's keeping this group from being top 10 in the league against the pass? And too many mistakes, especially little mistakes. And those add up into big mistakes. Second down and 10 for Columbus at the 43. On second down, here's Barkley. Barkley. And he's gonna fight his He'll get down to the 38. It's game. third down and four. Six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave him with a third and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And defensively going with a dime set. Six DBs on third and four. Third down and four for the Aviators at the 38-yard line. Out of the gun, it's Big Ben throws caught Kelsey. by Kelsey. Down at the 23. And a first down. The 25. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Brandon, lest my eyes deceive me, I think they found a matchup that they're trying to exploit here, don't you? I mean, it's the second time they've gone to him here on this drive. Yeah, opening drive. It's a tone setter, right? I think they're going to be looking his way a lot. Yeah, and I think that the way things are going right now, they like him as a featured receiver. Let's see what kind of adjustments the defense is going to make to try and take that away. First down and 10 for Columbus at the 23. Sims in motion. Play action. Roethlisberger throws. It's complete to Travis Kelsey. First and goal at the eight. 
10 at the 8. Back to back nice gains. That one for 14 yards. First and goal first. for Clubbus. After the Travis Kelsey reception, Roethlisberger handing it off. Barkley, he'll go down. Lost, no gain on the play. Second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. Second and goal. Roethlisberger rolling left. He goes down for the sack. As we end the first quarter, Von Miller with the sack. So we'll be back after this. So an even first quarter on the scoreboard, but the threat of points on the horizon. Nothing, nothing, our score. EA Sports NFL Sunday returns following this. Alongside the former defensive back, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Columbus football as we begin quarter number two. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. This has been a long drive. You got third and goal, goal for Columbus at the 17. Start of the second quarter. Roethlisberger, right side throws. It's caught. And he steps out at the 12. And it's fourth down. Leads to a fourth and goal. That's certainly playing down a distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. So on comes Cairo Santos now for the field goal try. Hicks on its way, it's up, and it is good. 3-0 Columbus as they strike first. Here in the battle of who will go, of who will have a losing season. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right, no big plays given up, no balls over your head. Ben, this one will be kicked away. Chestnuts? That was the back of the end zone. I'll take a knee. Back there. I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first down and ten for OKC. Yeah, They're on 25 yard line. Hundley gonna hand it off to Gordon. Gordon gets a first down. Juke. First down, OKC at the 38 yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. Well, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Play action, Hundley looking to throw. Left side, caught first down and more. He gets a big gain down to the 26. Travis Benjamin, and he's hurt. Down and hurt. Travis Benjamin, 36 yard catch, and he is hurt. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Let's see that again. Oh, it looks like a thigh strain. So now then, the but he's still on the field. That's good. That's good news. Now, first As it's ten. first down at the 26 for the Bison. Goddard in motion. Hang it off to Gordon. Down. Gordon goes down right to the 21. The It'll be the second down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Second and five for OKC at the 21. Now Hundley. Here it is, Hundley. Right side throws, it's caught. First down at the 12. Hundley perfect three for three passing. And that's Aguilar first catch of the day for him. Clock 
running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. First down and ten for OKC at the 12. Handing it off, Gordon. And he'll lose two yards. And it's second down. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their hmm. linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Second and 12 for OKC at the 14. The Goddard in motion second from track. right to left. On second down, Gordon gets the handoff. Gordon. He'll lose so he three yards and it's there. third down. Third down. Partner, you mind if I take off this headset and put on a coaching headset? You want to get this running game going? I want to get this running game going. I'm going down there and saying, gentlemen, we have got to run Let's the go. football. We've They're down 15. Right yeah, to this point in the second quarter, it has been a strong Hundley ball. under pressure and goes Let's down. Stay. Loss of down. seven. Obi Melifonwu with the sack. That's fourth and long. Third and long defense with no fear. They brought the pressure. Zero fear at all. That means they feel really good about the guys we're going to cover. But the biggest one is they think their pressure will get there before he has a chance to find an open receiver. Now Lutz for the field goal try. From the left hash, this will be a 41-yarder. Kick is up. And it is good from 41 yards. And the and the Bisons tie the game at three all. But he got it. Yeah, he actually was able to make it work. How about the body language though, right? As he watched that ball leak to the right, trying to try to bring it back in. And had just enough to get it done. So a tie ball game here as he's away. This is caught inside the 10. And he'll take it down to the 23 as we reach the two-minute warning. So we'll be back after this. We hit halftime as we do all season. We'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. First sound and 10 for Columbus at their own 23. Throwing now, Roethlisberger. Roethlisberger looking to throw. Left side, incomplete. It'll be second down. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Well, once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Second down and 10 for Columbus at their own 23. Second and 10 now. It's Roethlisberger. Roethlisberger. This is caught to Watkins on by Watkins, and, and he gets a first down at the 35. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. First down to 10 for Columbus at their own 35-yard line. Roethlisberger looks at the throw. Throws deep downfield. It is off the helmet incomplete. And it's second down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? It creates a lot of confusion. Roethlisberger rolling right. In the middle of the field. He goes down for the sack. Von Miller, second sack of the evening. Von Miller in there for the sack, and it's an important one from a personal standpoint. What kind of formation is this? It's a handoff to Barkley. And that's a game to the 34. Four yards, timeouts called by Columbus. So we'll be back after this.
So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. This one's pint away as it's taking a bounce. And we'll be down at the seven yard line. Down inside the ten at the seven yard line. And here now the offense heading back out there. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. First down and 10 for OKC at their own seven-yard line. They'll, start the drive They'll hand it off to Gordon. Gordon. Gordon pushing his way. And he goes down to the 16. Welcome on to the air. Whoever just tuned on, there are two people who are alive now. Second and one. And so we've reached halftime. It's 3-3. We'll be back score. after this. We'll get you over to Orlando where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in a minute. But first, let's take a spin around the NFL and see what's going on here in week number 10. We'll start up in the Twin Cities. Minnesota playing host to NFC North rival Green Bay. And they're drawing close to halftime with the Vikings out on top. Allen Hearns, a touchdown reception. <laughs> Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been as tight as we expected. All tied through one half of play. For the call of the second half, let's get it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter. All right, three. second half underway second here half from OKC. This will be returned from the 20. And he'll take this push again his way to the 31 yard line. Let's see how both these teams can improve. Time for our first check of the NFL scoreboard. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. I have a feeling that one's going to stay tight throughout. We'll continue to monitor. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. First down and 10 for the 30 at the 31 for the Aviators. Watkins is in motion. A throw at left right side and incomplete. Miguel is injured for OKC. I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnovers. You've got to take care of the football in order to Second down and 10. Robinsberger, right side, complete to the 34. And it'll be third down. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Well, this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and eight. Third and eight now for the Aviators at throw 34. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Roethlisberger throws, his, he throws, and it's picked off. Patrick Chung. And they'll get the 41. Take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. First and down for OKC at their own 41. Handing it off to Gordon. Guys, hey, Gordon spins down, down to 46. Offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now can the offense 
do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this tie. Second down and five for OKC. Out of the gun. Hundley looking to throw, left side. It's caught. Jerron Brown gets down to the 42. because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. First down and 10 for OKC at the 42 yard line. Handing it off. Ed Gordon will go down for a loss of one. Second and 11. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Second and 11 for OKC at the 43. It it's a handoff to Gordon. Gordon, down to the 37. But you gotta give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It Third and five for OKC at the 37. Hundley, incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. Kicks on its way. It is no good. And we stay tied. 3-3. And we will remain tied here in this third quarter. So an empty possession there. What do you think went wrong, Charles? Well, it looked like maybe the plant leg might have given way just a little. And when that happens, guys have a tendency to pull through the ball to compensate. And in doing so, set this one off target. Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defense is right now, they seem to be a First down and 10 for Columbus at their own 44. Attack, beating them to the punch. These Left side. Dropped crazy. and incomplete. Let's say you look at offensive scoring. These are close to identical. Both offenses have been the same. Throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. Second down. Second and ten. It's Roethlisberger looking deep left deep. and incomplete. On it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Third down and ten for Columbus at their own 44-yard line. Roethlisberger looks to throw. Deep right side, and it's incomplete. And they're going to punt it away here on fourth down. And that's going to go back into the end zone for a touchback. Now this offense ready to head back out there. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side. I'm First sure down and 10 for OKC at their own 20. Play action. Yeah, you know, I'd rather get in the Throws right side. It's caught. He steps out of the 23. Second down. And it'll make it a second down. Now second and seven from the 23. Second down. Hang it off, left side. 
Gordon. He'll go down to the 27, and Dallas Goddard's hurt away from the play. Third down for OKC at the 27. It's a handoff, and he's short. Melvin Gordon, fourth down. This one's punted deep. Kathy, this one will be taken from the 11. Goes left down the 31. That's a third. That's a 20-yard punt return. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play? First down for Columbus at their own 31-yard line. Right side. Oh, the middle. It's, it, it's intercepted by Zach Cunningham. And it'll be first down for Colum for OKC at the Columbus 36. A couple of interceptions thrown. He seems to be a different man here in the second half. And now back out comes the offense. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and man. First down for OKC at the 36. Play action. Don't want to get behind the left side. Hudley's going to run with it. He slides down to the 31 to avoid the hit. Second down. It's a second down. Second down and five for OKC at the 31. Hang it off, Gordon. Pushing his way to the 26. It'll be third down and one. And that is going to set up a third and one. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Third down and one. Here we go. Handing it off to Gordon. He gets the first down. As we reach the end of the third quarter here, here in Oklahoma City. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back, everybody, to Oklahoma City. It's been a tight, low-scoring affair thus far. 3-3 is our score heading into the fourth. Some good games going on in the early window. First down and 10 for OKC at the, at the, at the 22. They'll run it now. Hanging off to Gordon. He'll find his way to the 16. And it's second down. It's a linebacker, Manti Teo, on the stop. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Second down and five for OKC at the 16. Hundley, touchdown by Zins. Mason Schreck, his first touchdown on the year. And his guys are able to strike for six. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. BAT attempt on the way. Picks up and good. Lux with the extra point. 10-3. Ten now 10-3. The drive summary that time, five plays. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one will this be one fielded, at the five. fielded at the five. They're going to take it down take to the 27-yard line. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. 
Now this offense about ready to take over again. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. First down and 10 for Columbus at the at their own 27-yard line. Try to shake off the Roethlisberger, screen, incomplete. Let's take a look at the Bison's defense. Bison's and points allowed. They're the worst team in the league in that. But they've allowed three today. OKC could be well on their way to their first win of the season. Roethlisberger looks to throw. Right side caught. And it's a first down and a flag's down. A face mask against Patrick Chung and the Bisons. So I'll push them to the 38th. Ellie first, first down. The question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and ten. First down at the 38. Someone and a flip. That's going to be five yards. And, and so it will be first, eight, first down and 15. Back at the 43. That'll go as a loss of five. A false start backs him up five. First and 15. First and 15 at the, at the 43. Roethlisberger looks to throw. Steps forward. Dumps it off and complete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Second down of 15 at the 43-yard line for Columbus. Roethlisberger looks to throw. He is going to go down for the sack. Down at midfield. Von Miller, two and a half sacks today. He'll be third down. on third down they've converted just two for six thus far this will be third and a mile third down and 22 for Columbus at the 50 from midfield now here's Roethlisberger Roethlisberger looks to throw deep down field and incomplete almost threw another pick and it's fourth down but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game and sometimes the officials just say let them play kind of like your mom used to you and your brothers just take the broom tea and send you out to the backyard they'll the punt it away <laughs> I like that. Yeah. And here on so fourth down I don't know, like you said, enough to and it's the going flag. to the back of the end awesome. zone a first down at the 20. now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here they're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one score game and you hear a lot about two minute offense and four minute offense obviously the four minute offense applies here how do they run that effectively yeah really what the four minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock so you want consistent go. first down at 10 games for games okc at the 20. Plays, Hudley over the middle it's caught first uh it'll be second down but certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. it certainly is just make sure that you're careful with it and again get those first looks downs. like Press Benjamin's back in the game. That's good news. Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Second down at three for OKC at the 27. Handing it off to Gordon, he'll go down to the 25. He'll be third down. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. 
But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Third down of five for OKC at their old 25. Throwing Hundley. And Hundley throws incomplete left side. And it'll Sometimes be fourth the down. Is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. As he'll come on to kick this, this won't away. be pointed away. Fielded just inside the 20. So he'll get down to the 23. We first down for Columbus yeah, right the there. Heading back out there and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to First down to for again. Columbus. Less than three now, minutes to go. Roethlisberger looks. His, he throws and incomplete. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. Well, once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line. On second down and 10 for Columbus at their own 23-yard line. Roethlisberger well, looks to throw. Steps back. Right side, it's caught. And he'll get out of the 39. It'll be first down. It's a pickup of 16 there that will lead to a new set of downs. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. But there's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. You have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. First down and 10 for Columbus at their own 39-yard line. Roethlisberger steps back, and it's That's caught over the middle, over the and he goes down at the at the, the Bison's 41. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten. As first down and ten for Columbus drive. at their own 41-yard line. To throw again as Roethlisberger. Roethlisberger looks to throw. Throwing His incomplete. Throw going to be incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there and just not the game expect from him he's been off the mark really start to finish yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on is he a little bit dinged up here or is it just off just by a bit maybe he can get second out of 10 is for Columbus at the 41 yard line Wild Sparta throwing left side tried to set the screen incomplete we are we have just passed the two minute warning defensively we third down and 10 to go that's exactly what you do it's both because they're not mutually exclusive they may have been at one time in football but not anymore you want to have that pressure if you have a big time pass rusher send him after the third down and 10 for Columbus at the 41 he's back to throw Bird left right side it's caught he goes down to 35 Hurrying up, fourth down four. They have to go for it here. Walters for it looks to throw right side. It's caught. Extends their drive. First down. They hurry up to the line. First down at ten. Hunt with the grab. First down. Walters for left left side and incomplete. Almost picked it off. Nearly an interception. If that one's picked off, it's over. So a new lease on life, so to speak. A lot of times when you're in coverage, you're so focused on the man and the coverage. Second down and 10 for Columbus at the 22-yard line. Loftus Bart looks to throw. 
has time, steps forward, left side, throws, it's caught. And he'll go down at the 15. Third down and three. Still over a minute to go. Third down. Rolfus Burr, look at the throw. Over the left side, it's caught. First down at the 10. It's a first and goal. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. Flag comes in. This Flags free play. Walford right side. It's caught. And he'll go down at the four. I think. Offside defense. I would decline it. Second down. We looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, still first down. Easy call. Did they just do that to get another first down? the penalty it's first and five and you got to think offensively first and goal at the five oh, Rolfus Burr looks to throw, throw. Oh, no, it's and caught, yes, caught and he got in touchdown Columbus and Alley extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute so getting the big touchdown they needed late in the fourth now what do you do you conservative and just tie it up no I think you put your practice into game situation. Go as fast as possible. You already have your play call ready to go. Go for two and decide it right now. And now a critical well, go for the extra point. Kicks up and it's go good. We are tied 10 10 with 38 seconds to go. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue. 10 10. Let's see if, if in the end zone. OKC and can get into field goal range. Late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another First play, down for OKC at their own 25-yard line. Either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just well, that's that. not what you want to do in a tight game. You let five no, yards go. So it'll be first and five at the 30. It's a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. A boost here to start the drive. After the penalty, it's first and five. Now Hundley. Hundley looks and throw. Throws deep and incomplete. They'll be second down and five. Me, partner. Take a deep breath because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle. Kind of scan the crowd. See if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Second down and five at the at their own 30 for OKC. Hundley looks left. Top first down. And they'll they'll call their first time out of the half. We're gonna get a time out here. As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. Let's go! One, nine! Hudley at the throw. Right side intercepted at the 50. Nigel Bradham. It'll be first down for Columbus. That could have cost them the game. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window, and everything is flipped in the other direction. Now this offense ready to head back out there. They can still get into field. They have Roethlisberger coming back out. I agree with you totally. Find a way to get the ball downfield and out of bounds. In a perfect world, they know what hash they want to get to for their kicker, and they already know the distance that he feels First down and 10 now for Columbus at the 50. Roethlisberger looks to throw, steps back. Throw. Under pressure, here's he throws, Let's caught. He'll lose five and yards on the play. The and timeout's called As by Columbus with, with 15 seconds left. 
False start's going to push him back, but these False days start hard penalty. Must to be to be an offensive Five lineman. more. It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive False linemen start. flinching, offense. trying to draw you offside. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. Second down and 20. Roethlisberger looks to throw. And it's caught. He gets the first down and more. They call their second timeout. With, with 10 seconds to go. They're down at the 39. So here's Cairo Santos on the field goal try. Santos looks like they're going to kick the field goal. Timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. So here's Cairo Santos on Here it the field is. goal try. This from long, very long 56 range. yards. Kicks up. He's got the it left. is no good. good. No good. No good. No good. Well, I thought that was so good. Empty possession and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. And now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon. So oh, that was close. I thought that was in. So they missed the field goal. And Columbus will get the ball back. Excuse me. OKC will get the ball back, not Columbus. Columbus just lost the ball. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten. Wait a minute. They kicked the field goal on first down. This one's thrown up in the air. And intercepted. We are headed for overtime here at OKC. Four quarters not enough for all. 10-10 as we go into overtime. We're at the end of the fourth quarter. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams so get a overtime here in OKC, OK, so we'll get the, the ball. Count the five. Eight. We'll take it down to the 30. Jukes it, juking and down at the 31 yard so line. Really, first Just down for them the there. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in the field goal. First down for OKC. This a handoff. So Gordon, he pushes his way down to the 37, second and four. And not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. Second down and four for OKC at the 37. As much out as they did. Yeah, decent little game. Puts them in a Left side throw is complete. Down. And he is just short of the first down. Third down and nine. Near the 40 to the 39. At the 39, third down and one. On the catch. It's third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Third and one, trying to keep this drive and overtime going. A big one coming up. Third down and one to the 30 at the 39 yard line. Read option. First down for OKC. He'll be brought down at the 44. Five yards that time, taking it himself, and he has enough for the first. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you can't keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, 
then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. First down for Oak Kicks here at the 44. Hundley tanned it off to Gordon. Two yard gain to the 46. It'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Two minutes to go here in overtime. We'll be back after this. Second nine and eight for OKC at their own 46 yard line. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Right Going side caught. Pushing his way down to the 49. That's a three yard gain. Call it a three yard gain. Let's take a look at past offenses. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. I don't know who's better, who's worse. They're both the same. Third down and six. Hundley looks to throw. Left side caught. And he'll get down to the 32. OKC wins with the touchdown. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. Hundley now, 11 of 16 through the air. It's first First and down and 10 for OKC. Hudley looks to throw. It's incomplete. Second down. 109 to go in overtime. Another nice job there defensively. They've really stymied their passing attempts, and it continues in overtime. And for them to do that, that means they've had to be cohesive on defense. Pressure in the quarterback's face. Good coverage of not just the, the wide receivers, but the tight end, the running backs when they try and slip out and making sure they're at the First point down, of second down and 10 for OKC at the 32. Hundley looks to throw. Incomplete. And it'll be third down and 10. So this is what happens when you throw interceptions. That confident veneer that you have gets chipped away a little bit. Maybe a little bit gun shy throwing it around. Yeah, under throwing him there. And you're right. Those interceptions may be in the back of his mind. And this offense on third down today, they've converted three times and eight chances. This is third, third down and 10, 10 for OKC at the 32. Hundley, looking to throw. Rolls left. Throws deep. End zone. Incomplete. 59 seconds to go. They'll go for the field goal to take the lead in overtime. This one, 49 yards. Kicks up. It is good. And OKC takes the lead 13 0. Now remember, this one is not over. But with the time running short here in this overtime, that could very well be the game winner. Yeah, remember now, the other team does get a possession. But when the clock runs out, that's it. So that was a well-calculated drive. And they'll take a knee. 55 seconds to work with, with for 75 yards. set to go again. Ben Roethlisberger heading back out there. So as you see the numbers, a very uncharacteristic start, but he's been more characteristic as of late. And usually we're seeing a very good start out of First down and 10. Columbus there. wins with the touchdown. Off the spur, learning to throw. Deep. Caught! First down! And Moore steps out at the 28. Play there in overtime. 47 yards. 
47 yard gain. There's that magic line for my kicker. They're already in field goal range after that big play. I'm glad you brought that up because that magic line can change throughout the game. It's constantly being updated by teams. It starts with pregame. Okay, I think he stepped out. I think that'll stop the clock for them right there. Ask him again. Still feel that same numbers. 48 number? seconds. Right hash, left hash. What do you need? And that goes into the play calling in OT. First down. Roethlisberger to hand it off. Barkley. Run after contact gets him to the 20. Clock still rolling. Second and two. Eight yards, and it's second and two. And I know you with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying if you're Roethlisberger takes the snap. Throw it. Throwing left. End zone incomplete. Clock stops with 28 seconds to go. Especially this part of the field. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Third and two. Roethlisberger handing it off. Barkley rolling left side. He'll go down to the 22. Now this to tie it. OKC calls a timeout. Ties the kicker. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back. This is it. To tie the game here in overtime. Actually, to tie it back up in overtime. Oh, Blocks the kick. Ball. If he recovers, it's over. He's down. The game's over. OKC, first win of the season. What a great finish. OKC. One and six now. That drops Columbus down to 16. So Columbus gets their first win of the season. Columbus will officially have a losing season. It's a rare bright spot in what's been a tough season as they move to two and seven now on the year. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for Columbus, the turnaround hasn't materialized as they fall to two and seven. And they'll be at home next week for a date with the Seattle Seahawks. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody. Thanks for watching this game. Tune in tomorrow at seven as the Wizards take on the Marshals. And subscribe to this channel for more football every weekend. And follow me on, on Twitter for injury news and updates from around the league. Thank you guys for watching.